What's up guys? Graham here. Would you like to win one million dollars? Okay, we're not giving away one million dollars, but we are giving away several of the Dream Soul bundles that just came out. And if you have not seen these new souls in action, they are an absolute blast to play. As you can see in my new videos that I have up or coming up that show me with a first impression view of the new souls and running with them in a warfront. You get to see me try to PvP with no macros and an absolute first look at these souls. So it is an absolute train wreck, but it is a blast. And the fun part is in each one of these videos, if you leave your character name and server below the video in the comment section, you will be entered into a chance to win one of these Dream Soul bundles. Now I'm giving one away in each one of the new first impression videos, so make sure that you enter into all four and be sure to be subscribed to the channel. Not into the whole YouTube thing? Well, we made another way so you can enter and all you have to do is go to my Facebook page and click the like button and leave a comment under this post and you will be entered into the drawing as well. So if you want to be entered in as many times as possible, leave a comment in each one of the videos and make sure you are subscribed and go to the Facebook page and click the like button and leave a comment and you will be entered in five times for four of the Dream Soul bundles. And all of these prizes are being provided by the guild Godlike Awesomeness that is holding a 3v3 tournament this Saturday, May the 10th at 6.30 server time. So make sure you are there watching it live on my live stream channel, which is in the description below. If you have not watched my live streams, you are missing out on life, trust me. And if you do subscribe to my channel and take part in this contest, trust me, you will love my channel if you like any kind of PVP content. My channel is exclusively Rift, exclusively PVP. So it's no filler, just killer. So if you're seeing this right now, it is one of the videos that you can leave the comment in below. So make sure that you leave your character name down there with the server and be sure to be subscribed. This is a video for the giveaway. Leave it down there now. What's up guys, bringing you another first impression video. This time it's of the mage class and we're going to be playing the mage tank. So let's jump right into it. Let's go to our souls here and let's go to one of the new souls that I just purchased. All right, let's go on down to the bottom. That's usually where the preset for the new soul is. And here we go, we got Arbiter. So, a defensive mage who uses the power of air and water to shield themselves uh, themself, and withstand blows that other would kill other mages. Alright. Our three key abilities here is the first one here. We got Arcane Ward, which is a buff. Alright. Uh, enables deflect and derives... Uh, enables deflect deflect and derives deflect from the mages okay intelligence all right it's based on the mage's intelligence increases endurance by 25 percent resistances by 35 percent and armor by 150 percent increases threat gener yeah we don't care about that we're pvpers man all right reduces damage and healing done by 30 percent Reduces the global cooldown of Arbiter abilities to one second. Blocks charge gain from Verse of Joy and uh, however you say that word, chant. Okay. Uh, then Swirling Winds is a self buff on a one minute cooldown with no global cooldown. Uh, uses or adds 100 charge. Increases the damage of all charge consuming abilities by 20%. Reduces the initial charge cost for charge cons Okay. Uh, this is kind of confusing me right off the bat. Uh, a self absorb here on a two minute cooldown absorbs damage equal to 100% of the mage's maximum health. Okay, that is definitely one of them that we're going to have to put on the bar for PvP. That will be a big thing right there. Um, 
let's see, wears cloth armor, uh, arcanists need to manage their charge to get the greatest benefit from their abilities, going above 75 charge and below 25 charge each award buffs and absorption shields keeping these buffs up and triggering the absorb shields at opportune times are key to getting the most out of this build all right let's go for it we want to do it oh no it's it's bugged again in one of the earlier uh first impression videos it bugged out on us like this too okay loading purpose bam all right Work that time. Like a glove. Alright. So we went 61 in Arbiter, 5 in the Storm Collar for increase of damage. And reduces damage taken by 5%. And then 10 into Warlock, which puts 5 points into increases the amount of charge your abilities generate by 25%. And an Endurance increase. So let's save it. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw some stuff on the bars here. Uh, we will be having a attack here. Counts as a slashing attack. All right. Um, this one here uh, uses 15 charge. Okay. This generates charge. That uses charge. Oh, that's some decent damage there. That's some pretty decent numbers there. Hmm, okay. Um, our third ability here is Icy Fury, which deals water damage, reduces the cooldown of Glacial Spike by 5 seconds. Oh, it's got a 15 minute cooldown. I didn't see that right off the bat. Alright, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, bam, hit that. Uh, hit this. Yeah, exchange these two until this comes up and hit this as much as we can. Alright, that's why it's such a high high hitting ability all right we got jolting wave which is an eight uh area effect all right cool that generate all right man we got some cool stuff going on here this one deals water damage up to 10 enemies okay another area effect so this one uh this one generates charge and this one uses up the charge these are two ao uh, area effect abilities so this one forces the enemy yeah we will not need a threat generation forces up to 10 enemy. yeah we don't need that one consumes all charge when cast restoring health to the mage based on the amount of oh that is awesome right there oh man that is really good a self heal soothing waters man that is boss okay increase the damage of all all right uh yeah we'll put that there uh increase endurance and yeah, that's just above all right um reduces income and damage yeah above and this buff enables deflect and derives deflect from the mage's intelligence okay so let's go ahead and check out all of our buffs here just to make sure that we got all of the good stuff done uh arbiter wait a minute what's that top one crystallized mana regeneration hmm okay we'll put that there Alright, Soothing Waters is going to be our heal, which is going to be, alright, making sure that I'm getting all my buttons right here. Crystalline Shield, we'll put that there, we'll put that there, uh, okay, that's a bunch of, uh, alright, all of our defensive is on that line there, alright. All right, the buffs that we need is we've already got this one up. We've already got that one up. Ebb and flow, we do not have this one up. So we will put that there. Uh, Energize vitality, we've already got that. And we does not stack with arcane ward. Okay, 
so which of the two do we need reduces threat and increases damage and healing done so what's our thing uh, enables deflect oh that buffs us up quite a bit we'll we'll go ahead and keep that one going oh control we got some CC yes pulls the enemy to the mages look oh we got a pull what a mage with a pull look at this oh man this is cool an interrupt okay we got to move some stuff around here we we've got to interrupt we've got a pull okay man I gotta change around some of this stuff here okay we'll put that there uh, choking flood we'll put that there do we got pulls up the five enemies to the mage forcing them to attack what uh, oh, man, this needs to be macro but okay well uh we gotta change some of this stuff around, man. This is so awesome. Okay, threat generation. Yeah, we don't care about any threat generation. Um, all right, warlock. We got another buff here. Uh, don't believe we need to do any of this. We might down the line. It, it, it might be a better call to use some of these other things, but uh, we're not going to just yet. Oh, passive buffs. We got damage and electrocute. Okay. Those might be abilities that we need to use down the line, but right now we're just jumping right into this. Oh, and I am going to learn from my past mistakes. We are going to put uh, our break free on. Uh, we might even need to put our mount on. Uh, break free right there yep okay and uh, let's go ahead and put a mount just in case we get a war front that requires us to have a mount uh, we don't have much for mounts but we got something so oh we got a dire let's ride a squirrel with this guy squirrel sounds pretty cool bam squirrel alright let's queue up let's do this This is going to be so cool playing a mage with pulls and everything else. Hmm. One thing that I know is going to be very, very critical is casting all of those abilities that uh, protect me because my armor is cloth and all of that. So, yeah, I can see this going very badly if I do not uh, manage my defensive cooldowns. Oh, we got right into one that we're losing in already. Okay. Are there any of these raid buffs? Do we need to cast on anybody else? Nope. Okay. Whoa. Nobody's at the center flag? Okay, we got Kessad now. Okay. Alright, we kept a flag right off the bat. And we just lost the one flag that we had. So that means everybody's going to start pouring into this way. Um, okay, I see red. I see red. I uh, can't leave the flag, man. Let's go ahead and knock down a defensive. Oh, we got... we. Okay... Uh, okay. What? Oh, what? no! I let him cap while I was looking at my abilities. No! What? That is such a newbie move by me. Oh, I don't, I don't even know what to say right now. Uh is any of these abilities working the way it seems like I'm not hurting anybody oh, oh too many people on me oh, no
<laughs> Why did I let him cap that? Oh, I was looking down at my abilities going, am I hitting the wrong stuff? Am I doing this right? And I was thinking, there's no way this guy's capping right in front of me. You know, I, I, I thought it wasn't even a possibility. Yeah, he capped it right in my face. <sighs> and we're getting three capped. Man, this is not going to be a good war front to test this out in, man. We're losing too fast. Well, we've only got one healer in uh, our entire team. Let's see. If, no, somebody already took the... Bam! Pull. Oh. Man, we need a charge. We need a charge. Okay. Uh, and they've got such good healing going, man. Let's at least pull somebody so we can get some kind of satisfaction here. Okay. I see how this is supposed to go. And as you can see, I was very, very tanky. I had all those people hitting me at once there. And... Man, I was tanking right through him. I thought I was going to be a big problem because, you know, I don't have all of my defensives lined up and all of that. But, man, I was taking a lot of damage and surviving it. And it seemed like I'm doing a decent amount of damage. They just had a lot of healing right there. So, unfortunately, I didn't get to test this one too long in this warfront because, you know, we lost it way too fast. But... Man, this is kind of cool. A mage with an a an area effect pull pulls five people like a void knight, and uh, also a single pull, so you can choose from one or the other at certain points. And uh, all of those defensive cooldowns and everything like that. I don't know how good it'll be in PvP. Uh, probably be pretty awesome in conquest, since uh, really tanky builds are very valuable in conquest. But I don't know. In war fronts, it might be able to kick off too. You might be able to uh, go very defensive. And as long as you can churn out a decent amount of damage, it could be very, very valuable. Uh, what people usually run into is they go too tanky and they're not able to kill anybody. And that's a very bad thing in PvP. You do not want to be the guy running around with a shield and just all of the you know all of your runes being endurance and all that stuff you know doing some of that is okay you know if you're the type that runs a very high dps build with uh endurance runes and stuff it works you know it works completely you're not dying a lot and you're able to go out and kill everybody but the point of pvp is you're not going to be able to do the objectives and stuff if you're not putting the enemies in the graveyard and if you're not contributing toward that in some way, then yeah, you're not helping. So this build here, I don't know if it'd be real good in war fronts, but it is obviously very, very tanky. So, you know, put it to good use if you can, and it just needs some more testing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up, uh, hit the like button. And as usual, my name is Grim. And I will see you next time.